Welcome to Reawaken Hymns. Today, we are going to learn three hymns with just three chords. Hey everybody, welcome to Reawaken Hymns. I am Nathan Drake, and today we are going to learn three hymns with just three chords. Those chords today will be C, F, and G. So we'll be playing in the key of C. If you want to follow along, I have all of these chord charts available for free on my website at www.reawakenhymns.com. You can also click on the button up in the corner of the video to get to my website. And there's a link to each of the hymn chord charts in the description below. If you click on the three of those links, they'll take you straight to the individual chord charts where you can either download the PDF or you can just play the chords straight from the webpage. So go grab those chord sheets right now. I will have some chords up in the corner here, but we won't be playing the whole hymn today, so you should still go get those chord sheets. So while you're doing that, I just want to go over our chords for today. So we are going to be playing in the key of C in all three of these hymns, and our three chords are the 1, 4, and 5, unsurprisingly, and they are a C, an F, and a G. All right, so let's review those chords really quick in case you're a beginner or you're just not used to playing in the key of C. So I only have a capo on because my guitar is downtuned, so you should not have a capo. Right now I am playing in the key of C just like you would without a capo on. So here's a C. Often I will put my pinky down on the third fret on the first string. You don't have to do so. So there's our C. Here's our F. And here is our G. Now. You're probably used to playing a G this way, and that is fine. You can play that G and it'll work just fine. I will be playing the G this way. It's just the way I like to play the G in the key of C. C, F, G. All right, now let's get into our first hymn, which just so happens to be the most well-known hymn in the world, Amazing Grace. All right, so we'll start with our C chord. Then we'll go to the F. Then back to the C. Then we stay on the C for the beginning of the next line. And then we go to the G. You'll notice I am playing an extra note here on the uh, E string. It's a G. You don't have to play that note. I just like to keep it in there. It's kind of a droning G. But you can play just your normal chords and it'll sound just fine. All right, let's go through the first verse and just strum the chords once, and we are in the time signature of three, four. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Three, one. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now am found Was blind But now I see There we go. Not too difficult. The most difficult thing about this song is probably just the 3-4 time signature because that's unfamiliar to a lot of beginner players or modern players. And now let's go through it and I will strum a little more like I would if I was really playing the song. There we go. That's our first hymn, Amazing Grace. Not too difficult at all. Uh, all of the rest of the verses are the exact same for the chords and rhythm, so you can just play that through on the chord sheet you downloaded. And you can probably tell I sound a little Green Day today because I have a cold, so uh, apparently this is the punk rock version of three hymns with three chords. All right, let's go to our next hymn, and that is Just As I Am. So just as I am is very similar to Amazing Grace. Uh, it's also in 3-4. So let's go through our chords. It starts with a C. And a 
G, then a C, then line two starts with a G, and then an F, and then a C. Now let's go through it and just strum each chord on one like we did with Amazing Grace. Two, three, one, two. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou madest me come to thee. There we go. Not too difficult, very similar to Amazing Grace. Now let's strum a little more like we would if we were actually playing the song. One, two, three. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou biddest me There we are, two hymns down, Amazing Grace and Just As I Am. Now let's go to our third hymn in the key of C, and that is, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. And this one is also in the time signature of three, four. So apparently today it's not just three hymns with three chords in the key of C, it's three hymns with three chords in the key of C and the time signature of three, four. So there we go. How much easier could it be? Well, I guess 4-4 four, four is how much easier it could be, but that's okay. All right, come thou fount. Start to the C on the first line, then a G. Second line is an F, and then a C. Real simple. And on this one, all the chords are always for one measure. Real simple. So let's go through it and strum each chord on one. One, two. Three, one. Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above praise his name I'm fixed upon it name of God's redeeming love there we go now let's play with a little more strumming There we go. Amazing Grace, Just As I Am, Come Thou Fount, all simple hymns with simple chords, just three chords, and hymns that you can definitely play. If you take a look on my website, you'll find all kinds of chord sheets for over 70 hymns now, I believe. Um, so take a look at those. I try to make hymns as easy as possible to play on guitar. That's kind of the point of reawakening hymns, to make hymns easy for modern churches and modern players to use. So go check out my website. You can download all of those hymn chord charts for free. Or if you would like, you can purchase them all together in an ebook called the Reawaken Hymn Book. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you back here next time where we'll do another three hymns with three chords.